What up everybody? I hope you're feeling good, feeling great. We are in the Hunza Valley. This is day four? Day three? I'm not sure. With the initial flight being being canceled, everything's kind of screwed up. But it's one of those days, three or four. Probably four. Very, very excited for what we're about to unpack and unfold today. We are gonna go see one of the largest glaciers in the world. Right here in the Hunza Valley, about an hour and a half uh, from where we're located right now. Major shout out to Gozayan for uh, sponsoring this trip and making it possible. Uh, they are Pakistan's number one uh, tour provider, travel connoisseur, uh, whatever you want to call them. Flights, hotels, guides, rides, they got it all figured out. They've taken really good care of me. Uh, they've, they've planned this trip meticulously and uh, they got a lot planned. We've had a few bumps in the road uh, due to like the Pak China border being closed and uh, we were here for the first snowfall of the year. So that kind of threw a wrench in plans, but we're gonna keep on moving. Y'all, it's cold. It's like 15 degrees C or F. I don't know, it's it's cold, you can see your breath. It's definitely freezing, it's it's definitely freezing. But the views are spectacular. We're gonna, oh, it's our new Indonesian friends. Assalamu alaikum. Could you tell everybody your names? Taiga, Titi. Oh, lovely names. You look like sisters almost, the, the, the way you have the, the, the... No, we are friends. Just friends, okay. The way you kind of like said things at the same time, I thought it was very, very sisterly. Right, what are your plans for the day? Where are you going? To Atlet Farm. Oh, we're going uh, there too. Uh -huh. Later in the uh, day. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. In a different episode. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah, we're going there too and we're excited to yeah. explore there. It should be fun. Yeah. Maybe we'll see you there. Yeah, maybe. Ciao ciao. Oh, I gotta ask, what's your favorite Indonesian food? Oh, so many. <laughs> Just one. You can only pick one. Mi, Chick uh, mi ayam. Mi ayam. What's yes. that? Chicken noodle. Ooh, chicken noodle. Okay. Yes. Mm. And yours? Bakso. Bakso. Meatball. Meatball. Uh -huh, meatball. Oh, that sounds delicious. Uh -huh. Well, Ala Hafiz, it was so nice meeting Hi. you. Ciao, ciao. See you soon. All right. And uh, talking about foods got me hungry. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, hello. We got our, our, our boys over here, the trusty crew. We're about to eat some breakfast. Full house at the hotel today. This place is, is jam packed. Here we are with our guide, Mudasir, back again. We've got our trust, the best driver in all of Pakistan. A little early morning omelet action with some paratha, and uh, the chai is on the way. All right, on our way to the glacier, but we stopped out. That is the Altic Fort? Yeah, that is the Altic Fort. Wow, way up high, and you were telling me they used to and take bad people. Yeah, and throw them down. Maybe bad, and throw them down. Yikes, whoa, hey now. And uh, we got out here to look at some ancient rock carvings. Whoa, those do look ancient. Holy smokes. Where this valley is, this, so this is the Hunza Valley, like, uh, this is a uh, disputed area between the Hunza Valley and the, the Nagar Valley. It's called Ganesh. Uh, this place, disputed? Yeah, this place is disputed between the people of Nagar and the people of Ganesh. But those are some like animals. I think those are ibexes or deers. Uh, yeah, zoom in, Siri. Whoa. Wow, yeah, and there's a ton down there. Like, uh, how, how, do, how do like the historians interpret what those mean? Do you have any idea? Uh, I, I have no idea, but uh, from what I've heard from like people, like uh, these are the stories of how uh, what animals the people when traveling through here found, or like uh, how they used to hunt them, or what sort of animals these were. So like you can see like ibexes with small horns, big horns. You can see all herds of them. So like. Uh, and maybe even like the markhor, the national animal yeah, of Pakistan, like, is somewhere yeah, in there. Yes, uh, could be right there, I guess. All right, check this out. This might be. Uh, this is the this is the best picture I've taken so far here. The blue glacier water with the trees, the reds, the oranges, the yellows, the greens. This is this is just as good as it gets as far as views go, y'all. I could sit here all day and just listen to this. All right, we're going to get an up close view of the Hunza River right now. Hunza River, right? Hunza River. Yeah. Whoa. Talk about stunning. Again, as I've said, wow and stunning are the most common words used since I've been here. Oh, and they're doing some laundry down there. Yeah. So this water in the summertime comes about up till this point. This high? Yeah, this high. So the water is that uh, much very tough. And that's the road we took to get here. Yeah. Okay, we are en route now officially to the uh, Hopper uh, Glacier. We are driving through the Hopper Valley. This is apparently where it starts. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't take video of the first uh, 
maybe half hour of the drive, but it's definitely one of the most beautiful drives I've been on so far. Oh, every, everywhere we've been is a beautiful drive here, but this one is especially beautiful. Uh, just so many like leaves changing colors here now that it's autumn. I'm gonna roll down the window. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. Don't, what are you looking at? You looking at the comments? Look at the video, guys. Come on, come on. Just, just stunning. Unreal. So many different mountain peaks. And okay, here comes, here comes the winner. Here comes the wow. Here comes the wow, 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 wow. Unbelievable. I mean, look at this road here. I've never been on a road like this anywhere in my life. And it's uh, it's about as rocky and, and, and as bumpy as it gets. I can feel my cervical vertebrae smashing uh, into my spinal cord. But let's, uh, let's hang out the window again. Look at those trees. Look at those mountains. All right, before we head to the Hopper Glacier, we gotta chow down. We gotta get some of that good northern Hunzen food in us. We're gonna go here for chop shuro. Yes, chop shuro. Chop shuro. Very, very excited. Don't worry, we're, we're gonna we're gonna do a whole Hunza food tour video, hopefully in the next couple days. But we're at the Rush Lake Gateway Hotel, yeah. Yeah, Rush Lake Gate. Uh, sorry, I just messed up the name. Uh, Rush Lake Gateway Hotel, like uh, this is one of my favorite places to be here because they serve excellent chef shuru and different foods. Because this is like your hometown and that guy loves Justin Bieber. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't, uh, he has a bad taste. Okay. Ah, <laughs> I don't like That's Justin hilarious. Bieber. We got a surprise. We're going to try a couple different foods. We're going to try the chop shuru. Yeah, chop shuru. and uh, gorkon. Gorkon, yak meat. Yak meat, yeah. and it's getting cooked in this thing. This pot, yeah. You can touch it. Actually, it's like completely made out of stone. It's really hard. Oh wow, that's really heavy. Wow. Abkan am kya hai? Abbas. Abbas. Ab kaise hai? Shukr Allah ka. Ah, tick tock, tick tock. Wow. And so this is where it's going on. Can you ask him how long the restaurant has been in business? This is one of the oldest uh, hotels here. Like they have the PBBC over there, which uh -huh. is a uh, very old hotel. Yeah, this so it's like more than 20, 30 years old. Oh wow, 20, 30 years old. Wow. A lot of people. We have tourists, German, Italy, from all over the world. Belgium. And now United States. Yeah. You probably had a few from the United States before. Ah. Wow. Very, very excited to, to, to chow down. Special making, special. But you're making it special, okay. Yeah, special. Well, if we could watch, that'd be that'd be wonderful too. He tells me that uh, this area is known for the potatoes, the aloo. Aloo is really good, chips, eh? Also chips, potato chips. chips. Potato, chips. potato yeah, chips. French chips. French fries. French fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll love, we'd love some of those too. I was very confused. I thought we were stopping for lunch and then driving to the glacier. They're going to start preparing lunch in a minute, but we're in walking distance to the Hopper Glacier, eh? Yeah. And I'm saying that right, Hopper? Hopper. Hopper. Wait, because that says H O P P E R. Yeah, it's like Hopper. But that, that only has one P. Hopper. There's a debate on the spelling, but uh, the locals call it Hopper. Like some say Hopper. tomato, some say tomato. Yeah. Some say Hopper, some say Hopper. Oh, and that's what we're going to eat right uh, there the chop shuro. Yeah, that's a chop It's coming that's up, guys. Just a few more minutes. This is called mul. The rampiti, which I've explained earlier. Yelling. Uh, you'll see them here as well. And there's karai, there's dodo. Dodo. How it's so which, which we had yesterday that and did, you did not like. was not good. I'm sure it's much better here though. They probably, yeah. I, I, I trust our man here. Mudasir hasn't uh, steered me wrong yet. And those people in the kitchen look like they knew what they were talking about. But let's make moves to this glacier, y'all. And we're taking a really cool walk. We're going down that road, down there. We're on our way. I mentioned before, like Hopper Glacier is an anomaly. It's an anomaly. Yeah, because uh, most of the time, what happens is that uh, the glacier is above the population Whoa. level, right? <laughs> but here, you can actually see that the glacier is below the population level. So that's something. Below the population level. Yeah. That's crazy. And, uh, you see that area? Over yeah. There, uh, after the glacier has uh, ended, uh -huh. like that place, uh, they, they have found ruins of uh, old houses and uh, they have found like different, uh, uh, what can I say, like utensils that were used in the ancient times. So there used to be civilization here, which might have been like destroyed by a flood or uh, an avalanche or something. Whoa. We, this is this is real steep territory here. This is not a paved road. Yeah, we might have to turn off the camera. This is this is walking stick. Not not for the legs on this man. He's 
He's used to this. You spent your childhood walking on these <laughs> hills. Well, it's been Dang. a while since I came down here. All right. We're gonna just turn the camera off and uh, make it right now. What's that wire hanging? Is that like, uh, is that the Wi-Fi? Uh, that way? Yeah. You know, it's like down to this one and up again. So just for the electricity. Oh, uh, electricity, okay. What is Sirius telling us? This is a barn. This is where they keep like the sheep. Are there, there's no sheep here now though, eh? No, okay. That's what they're cooking us up for, for breakfast? <laughs> Actually, they're cooking us yak meat. Yak meat. Yeah. So these green rocks we're seeing, that is like untouched, uncut jade, right? Yeah. And like it's most raw and pure form. Actually, well, I don't have it on right now, but a friend Not here in Pakistan got me a jade necklace. Like, uh, unpure form. Unpure form, okay. Man, yeah, this is this this is a really unique geography. Truly like feels like I'm on Mars, like another planet or something. This is this is nuts, y'all. Un unbelievable. That was a cool walk down too. When I, something tells me when we turn the corner, my mind's gonna be blown to a billion Dorito chips. Oh, da -da 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 -da. let's see what we get. Still further down. Oh, still further down. Okay, so we gotta wait a little longer for it to be blown. Still, still pretty mind blowing though. All right, check this out. We're still not at the bottom yet. That was that was a slippery path, y'all. I was I was walking, I was tiptoeing down the way otherwise my ass would have slid all the way down and busted my butt huh that's where we came from yeah, oh man the food might be cold by the time we get back <laughs> oh great oh we got we got a little leap of faith to make here okay I'm gonna slide over here don't need to break any don't need to break anything on this trip because we're about a billion miles away from a hospital and uh, that'd, that'd be the end of me. Wow. And you're telling me that that, that blue thing's a restaurant? Uh, yeah, it used to be. Huh. Yeah, I can't imagine. Geez, I wonder why they closed down. Business probably not too good in the middle of nowhere here, this, this glacier. We obviously haven't seen a, another another tourist at all or anybody coming down here, just only locals. Um, in Mudasir, you said not a lot of people come here, right? Yeah, this is not a tourist right, destination. Uh, it's not for everybody. <laughs> yeah, like, uh, mostly, uh, women and uh, old people come around and they just look at from up there and they just enjoy the view and go away but down here is where it's, it's the greatest like you can sense the peace here sure it's so quiet here. and uh i'll eventually when we get down here and i stop moving i'll let you hear how quiet it is here like this might be the quietest place that i've been um, in pakistan besides the birds chirping and everything oh wow is this it is this the view uh yeah up wow. close and personal Oh. Down there's the glacier. Down there's the glacier. Wow. So at the edge Look at that. And so it, this this is a glacier, but it's covered in all this dirt and yeah. and soot, right? Yeah. Man. Truly on top of the world. Well, I guess the bottom of the world because we're <laughs> we're below we're below civilization or whatever. Huh. I don't even know what to say. Echo. I've heard better. Let's uh let's be quiet for a second and just listen. So Mudasir is telling us that the glaciers, like most glaciers, are constantly moving. There's water underneath them. You can hear like cracks and things like that and, and, and water drops. Yeah. So this is the origin of the Nagar River along with uh, the Barpu glacier, which is like on opposite side of this hill. So like whenever someone walks, you don't know how steep it's going to be okay. or you don't know how strong your footing would be. So you have to be extra careful while crossing any glacier <laughs> and you have to have some uh, extra uh, expert navigators. Like you? <laughs> uh, not in this case. <laughs> not in this case. Not okay. In this case. Like I risk, I risk my own life. <laughs> I don't care about it. But yours is more important. Than <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Now we begin our journey back up and the journey to food. It'll all be worth it. Just gotta survive this and we got a big tasty meal waiting for us, y'all. Ah! The food is gonna have to wait. A nightmare scenario has unfolded. I cannot find my wallet. Which means we either lost it at Alted Fort when I was like bending over in an early episode taking pictures, or we lost it somewhere along the way on the glacier. And so we gotta walk and hike all the way back down to the glacier. Uh, you, you think you might, we might. There was an area where I sat yeah, that it might be. Yeah. But I'm, I'm uh, not good. I mean, worst case scenario, there was only like 10,000 rupees in there and my credit card. 
the credit card getting that figured out it'll be a little pain in the butt but um let's let, let's keep our hopes high everybody let's keep our hopes high and uh more than anything i don't want to make that hike again battery dead had to switch batteries this this is the man thank you thank you so much brother i i was a complete idiot and i and i left oh i left it in the other store um your brother's store i thank left you. it i left it in uh i left it on a hat I didn't lose it. I took it out because I was going to buy some gems from him, which I didn't film, and I left it on a hat. Uh, cannot, thank cannot you. thank you enough, brother. <laughs> cannot thank you enough, man. Uh, don't even know what to say. He, I, 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 I tried to give him a reward. He would not take it. Thank you, your Pakistani honesty and kindness, man. Um, we bought a, bunch of, bought a bunch of gems from him. I had to support you in some way, man. Um, cannot, you. cannot thank you enough. Mind absolutely blown. Frazzled. Uh, and, and, and shocked by your kindness. In so many countries out of the world, this would never happen. The, the wallet would have been gone, the money would have been spent, and <sighs> un unreal. I can't even, like, I'm so exhausted from climbing up that stupid glacier twice. Aapkanam kya hai? Hamid Hussain. Thank you so much, my friend. All right, the, this guy right here, the most honest man in, uh, in, pa in Pakistan. And you told me, you, you yeah. said that some yeah, I told you that someone's going to have it up there in the, in the <laughs> store or somewhere, and you'll get it. But huge shout out to Hamid Bhai. He's in Hopper, Neger Valley, uh, Hopper Glacier, and he sells gemstones and handcrafted uh, material that you can come here and buy. Thank you, man. Thank, can't even tell you how much of a lifesaver this is, brother. Shukriya, shukriya. Take care, my friends. Wow. That was, uh, that was a trip. That was a trip. I can breathe now. And more than anything, we can eat. Yeah. We, can, we can finally eat. We haven't eaten in like eight hours, so I'm starving. What? Oh, that's what we're gonna. Yeah, that's what yeah. we're gonna go eat out of. And there's the spoon they used. Okay, the food's literally been sitting now for like two hours because we had to go down and up. I will say it was easier going up the second time uh, than it was going up the first time. All right, y'all. Food. Let's go. Okay. Literally two hours later, we're finally gonna go look at the food. Wow. What is that? Is that yeah? That's me. That's what? I bet, uh, no, yak me. Yak, that's yak. the yak, wow. And this is for you lunch, you are a special gorkon. Special gorkon. Yeah. And it's been marinating extra long yeah. because we took forever. Oh, amazing. Let's get a smell. Very nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. It smells like a, a beef stew type of thing. Assalamu alaikum. And he's, he's cutting up the alu? Yeah. Alu. Yeah. Chips. 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 Well, French Chips. fries. Amazing. All right, finally, one lost wallet, one found wallet, one uh, glacier hike, two glacier hikes later. We have finally, it's finally time to eat. My brain tapped out, fried. Look who's back to join us. You might remember her from our last episode at the Altic Fort. And this, Altic. Altic tea. Been a long day. <laughs> and this is Chop Shuro. Yeah, Chop Shuro. Tell us you have to what's... Peel it oh, we've got, okay, we, we got to reveal it, okay. It's a disaster area here. Let's do this. Let's move this over here. And let's we're peeling it like this yeah. with my hands. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, wow! It's like a pot pie kind of. Wow! So look at that. Like, uh, there are two ways to make it, right? Uh -huh. So this one's the first dough that you flatten it out, and down there is the second one, right? Okay. So the upper one is a little smaller than the uh, lower one, right? So you put meat inside of uh, the lower dough, and you just uh, put the other one above it, and you just uh, turn it, like you just roll it up, okay. and, th and this formation is formed, right? Uh -huh. So either you cook it in oil, which you obviously hate, or <laughs> I don't hate just, oil, <laughs> I hate too much oil. Uh, or you can just like uh, put it on, like uh, steam it up. Got so, it. Yeah, so this is how it. Works. Okay, so, first bite of chop shirl pow, and this is beef or yak? Yeah. Mmm. Wow, really nice. There's some masala. That was a big bite. There's some masala flavor in there. It's spicy. It's sweet. Whoa, that's really really good. And oh my gosh. And this is gorkon. Gorkon. This uh, pot is called gorkon. Wow. Look at that boiling in there. Yeah. So it would be at this temperature for like three or four Ooh. more hours without any... Uh, Look at that beef dancing around, but well, we got a lot of beef. All right, you're going to pour yourself, or uh, scoop yourself. Yeah. For, wow. So, like these, Look at that thick broth. Look at that beef. This is the yak, excuse me, yeah. not beef. It's, yeah. Uh, thing is, like uh, these spoons, 
are actually what people used to use in their own homes. Ah, we uh, saw. Didn't we see those in the yeah, in the in forts? The, yeah, you saw in the forts. Uh, let me pour you some too. Sugar. Uh, so it is unfortunately oily as well. Nah, it's okay. Uh, it's good oil. It's mountain oil, <laughs> right? Mountain oil. <laughs> yeah. So. You burn it. Don't worry. <sighs> All right, we had to switch angles with the better backdrop here. This might be the most beautiful backdrop I've ever had food in. Okay, we really like the chapsuro. What the heck do they call this? This this is it's yak meat, but no. the name Gorkon. Gorkon. Gorkon is actually the name of this uh, utensil. Ah, the name in of the, the, pot. the the name of the pot. Okay, like I said, my memory brain completely fried ever since we lost the wallet. Pow. Mmm. Whoa. Wow. So chewy. Not as tender as the yak meat was. We had a yak steak last night a few episodes back. It's good though. Really flavorful. It's just, it's, it's a little bit well done, so you gotta chew it a little bit more. But I like it. It's juicy. It's like a beef stew consistency. Remember when we were in there, I said it kind of smelled like beef stew? And that's the, that's the texture you're getting. Also, I mean, we asked them to cook this about two hours ago, and it's been sitting in that pot for two hours, so it probably, it's probably our fault. It's a little uh, little well done, but yeah, really like it. It's very mild. You know, there's a lot of oil in here as well, but it's a, uh, it's not too oily. It's got like this, mm, a little bit of like, got a tanginess to it. Very, very subtle tanginess, not detecting any spice at all. Some other herbs in there, can't quite tell what it is, but I really, really liked it. It was super, super tasty. All right, everybody, and that's that. Major thanks to our friend today. We're taking us up and down the glacier. Okay, there came some spice. Well, okay, there was spice in the back. And uh, major thanks to you, doctor. Thanks for uh, entertaining us. And uh, maybe we'll have some of those fries in a little bit. The alu. Thank you, as always, for being a great driver. And uh, I, who are you, sir? Hamad. Hamad. This man just appeared at dinner next to us. So nice to meet you as well. My name is Brent Tim from the Hunza Valley. And I'm saying ciao for now. And that's that. Always an adventure. We were supposed to go to like Eagle's Nest tonight to watch the sunset. That plan has been incinerated because I'm an idiot who lost his wallet, but found his wallet. Major shout out uh, to Mudasir, our guide. The biggest of all time shout outs to the most honest man in Pakistan for helping me find my wallet. Guys, I, he, they, I forgot the name of the gem shop, but if you're here, a lot of tourists don't come here. Please come here, support that guy. I want to buy a billion gems. I got some gifts uh, for all my friends in Pakistan. I was like, I, 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 I gotta support this guy. I gotta, and, and I got some other things for myself too. Um, but that's that. Wow, what a crazy day at the Hopper Glacier, everybody. My name is Brent Tim from the Hopper Glacier with his wallet, and I'm saying ciao for now. Oh, a bonus episode. I guess I'll show you the, the gems I bought. I bought this uh, lapis, lapis stone for myself. Uh, I had lapis and it brought me a lot of luck, so I'm going back with it. Um, uh, I bought myself also this this bluish green turquoise stone. And then um, y'all remember the twins, Zaina and Elena. They've been so nice to me and they're they're getting really sad that I'm leaving Pakistan. So I thought I'd buy them um, two, two, two jade hearts. They can always remember me by. Then I bought myself another jade pendant and then I bought myself another kind of like greenish bracelet. So I usually don't buy souvenirs in places, but I do like jewelry because I can always wear it on me. This time it's for real. Ciao for now. And this guy's taking a photo or a video of me. Hello, sir. Hello. Thank you for the food was great. Ciao for now. <laughs>